Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. <laughs> You're going to need drinks and nibbles for this. Wisteria. And in fact, this wisteria is so beautiful, it has been listed. Yes, it has. We are on the edge of the city walls of the town of Castellon, Fiorentino. Carla, I hope I got that right. <laughs> and today's tour is a apartment which has 200 square meters of bliss and it has outside space and it has a courtyard and it's charming and beautiful and, and gorgeous. And I've got something at the end of this video which is going to be absolutely amazing. Price at the end. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, as I mentioned, look at this wisteria. Look, there is car parking for two cars. And this used to be an incredible noble house. And it used to be owned in its entirety by the secretary of the Grand Duke of Tuscany. And this is where you would walk in after you parked your car. And well, it's just, it is phenomenal. Now, there are other apartments along this courtyard and this is a communal space but it is owned by this apartment so when this apartment is sold you will have to or you will be part of a condominium <laughs> right in we go i'm just gonna just pop in now down this road there is a beautiful garden, which I'm going to show you. It's not too big, but I'm going to show you at the end as well, after we get through the big reveal. Well, in fact, everything's going to be a big reveal today because if I come in and you've just come through your gates and then you walk in to oh, this just charming courtyard, now, this apartment used to be the stables. And all I can say about it at this moment in time is that the arches are to die for. But this is your al fresco dining area in the summer, or any time of the year, actually. Come out here have your aperitivo and look up at this just incredible tower. I'm just going to pull the camera up so you can see that. That would have been a lookout post for the walled city. It's charming, isn't it? Don't really see this need to see much more, do we? <laughs> That's done it for me. Right, in we go. Just gonna pull round. Now, this apartment has been completely restored um, and it has three bedrooms and three bathrooms and the walls are over a meter thick. And as I come in, I mean, it was 27 degrees yesterday and it was quite warm, but it's just lovely and cool. And I asked the uh, son of the owner whether they had any air conditioning and he told me that they didn't need it. They don't need it because basically it's, it's just so cool in the, in the summer months that really they just, they just don't need it. <laughs> so, right, so I'm going to come down and we're going to walk into... Bedroom one, very classic, lovely nook, beautiful found chair and desk in a semicircle to go into there. And it's a jolly nice room. Now the ceiling has been painted and the beams have been painted and I don't mind that actually. I think that's just jolly nice. The fact that it's been painted really well 
is a benefit. This is the smaller of the three bedrooms. They do not rent this house. But you could so easily rent it. It literally is a five minute walk into town. And I just stopped and had lunch before we started this video. And I had a lovely sandwich sitting outside. Oh, it's, just, it's just amazing. Bathroom number one, very simple, white tiles, and all the condiments <laughs> that you would expect being just there. I just want to show you, I think it's important. Heated towel, bidet, sink, shower, and toilet seat with the seat down. So it's going to come across and we're going to pull out back to where we came through the door leading out to that incredible terrace. Oh, look at this, it's your reception room. Yeah. Hmm. Now, uh, I don't know about you, but I mean, that's beautiful. I mean, look at the central column and the original brickwork. Oh, it's really just jolly nice. Everything about it is beautiful. Brand new kitchen. Not too big, but absolutely perfect. And you are there, you know, in the thick of it all. You can have people... <sighs> Having fun outside, you'll be able to see them inside, tables right there, you know, double refrigerator, hob, cooker, everything that you need. Dishwasher. And this house can be purchased with everything. I know. <laughs> I know, just walk in. This is it. Ceiling heights are really nice and high. Oh, look at the other arch coming over. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. What a home in Italy. Now, I think I'm going to go and show you this because this is the owner who moved his family to... Oh my God, sorry about that. Almost broke your table. <laughs> yeah, distinguished gentleman, isn't he? Yeah, he moved his entire family to, uh, to Castellum Florentino. And he was the secretary of the Grand Duke of Tuscany. Automatic lights. And then we go into bathroom number two, done in a very similar fashion. This one has a bath and you're gonna get some echo in here. It's got some spotlights. I can see a extractor fan, white tiles. You know, it's very simple. If you really wanted to, I don't know, you could either leave it the way it is or you could give it a little paint, style it in your own style. I just think it's functional inside this cupboard. There's all the things that you need. And it's got the electricity fuse box as well. I'm just going to pop my head in there. I wonder if the light's on. Oh, there. And that's what you need. You need all that. Huge storage area. Could be the cantina. It's where you put all your bits and pieces. Let's get into here. Now, domed ceiling. 
and we're going to go out through that door when we finish this tour just here. But I love this room. I mean, look at this room. Isn't that just gorgeous? Now that window is facing east, so you're going to have east light coming in the morning. It's a charming room. It really is. Absolutely charming. Gas central heating, town water. And look at the thickness of the walls. And as I pull the camera out, because it was the stable, and you were saying to me, well, what's going on, Nick? And what they've done is that they've added a flexi mirror to either side to bounce some more light around. The perspective is wild, isn't it? It's really interesting. Bespoke windows, all thick double glazing. I'm just gonna come around and give you the reverse of this because I'm having a problem today I'm banging into all the furniture. Oh, look. Yeah. It's a super apartment, spotlessly clean. Absolutely got everything that you need. And to be honest with you, if you were looking for something which was completely done that you can move straight into, then uh, this potentially is going to be it. Now, we are going to go out through that door in a minute. <laughs> so through another entrance hall, and then just to the right here under the stairs, you have the laundry room. And it's really nice to see a full laundry room, two machines. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? You know, a lot of people have them under the kitchen, single unit. I know a lot of my American friends have said, oh, where's the dryer? You know, or where's the laundry room for that matter? And then we come down here into bathroom number three. And this has a double sink. Again, the theme of white tiles very clean and then at the back as usual you have heated tan rail squeaky door bidet and toilet yeah i like the doors as well very simple and then the final bedroom, bedroom three. Nice big room. I suppose if I was being super critical, I would say that I would probably, because there's some beautiful stonework or brickwork, I should say. I'm just gonna come around from uh, from the bed and I will probably want to have a bigger wardrobe. Certainly if I was gonna live here full time and I would probably put that in this corner. If I show you the reverse coming back. Yeah, I, that's where I would put it. I would make that into a lovely big closet. Right, look, this has a full ceiling, ceiling and it has spotlights. Yeah, beautiful, beautifully executed, three bedroom house, three bathrooms, lovely reception room in Tuscany. Big rooms, I mean, this is 200 square meters. That's a, that's, a, that's a big apartment. And look at the distance. Okay, are you ready? Now, this used to be a huge estate on lots of levels. And as we come out, and you can enter the house from this street, 
the camera will adjust and we're going to go outside and look. <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? Dreamy, isn't it? Absolutely dreamy. And if I give you the reverse and I show you the other side. Yeah, it's like a film set. Look at it. Right, for all you budding artists or professional artists or uh, anybody who is making anything with their hands or just, well, you might want to open up I don't know, an art gallery, or you might want to maybe open a restaurant. Oh, look at these doors. Oh, look at that. Oh, it comes with, can I get in? 185 square meters of this. I don't know what to say, actually. I just think it's the most incredible space ever. I mean, look at it. I have no idea what, what you would have done or what you will do with it. Ah. It make a great restaurant. Now they owned a very large house or apartment which they sold and a lot of this furniture has come from that apartment and almost all of it can be purchased. Oh, look. What a find, honestly. Let's get up here. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it just goes on and on. Oh, wow. Now, I don't think you'll be able to turn this into a habitable space because it is a cantina and there's not enough, enough light. Um, that here, I'm just gonna come across that is the original well to the villa and I've been told there's water in it and at the planning application where the stables were completely restored the application came in for a bathroom which was granted and so at the end here you have a toilet no shower I don't think anyway let's have a quick look no it's just a toilet or a cloakroom, but it's just, what a space. Now this probably dates back <clears throat> to the 15th century and the floors are all completely original. I oh, make a great nightclub. <laughs> I think those days are long gone, but you never know, you never know. Oh, oh, well, oh, there's more, there's, there's actually, oh, my, oh, 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 it's quite low down, oh, oh, I'm stepping up, it's quite low in here, oh no, I can get in, I'm all right. Oh, look at that arch. God, what treasures. It's phenomenal, isn't it? You buy your perfectly, exquisitely restored three bedroom, three bathroom house in Tuscany, and you get this. Comes with it. Oh, just bear with me while I navigate the uh, staircase coming down the quite steep steps. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, look at that door. Oh. 
that is the original electrical system with literally bare wires on the outside. And I thought this was quite fun. This door probably is 500 years old. And when they decided that you could have electricity, they just cut a bit of the door off. <laughs> yep. <sighs> oh, it's just such an incredible space. Yeah, if you were an artist, this is going to be absolute heaven. You get quite a lot in here. I'm just going to give you a verse. Speechless. I don't know about you. I'm utterly speechless. Right, let's get back because I want to show you the garden. Right, we're just walking back through the apartment. Stunning, isn't it? We're going to go back out into the stunning courtyard. Stunning, isn't it? <laughs> and then we're just going to turn right and come out of your gated area with views over Tuscany. And then, as I mentioned, we're going to walk down, at the beginning of the video, we're going to walk down to a garden area, which is jolly private actually. And I think that if you wanted to make an application, I'm not sure whether it will be granted, but it's worth a try. I don't see why not. The property comes with two cypresses and this beautiful lawned area. I get the sun flaring. But it's gorgeous. It's big enough for a pool. Absolutely. Let's see if the camera is going to just the just adjust. Yeah. It's perfect. Did you see that cantina? <laughs> really? Honestly? Seriously? Three bedrooms, three bathrooms, 200 square meters, 178 square meters of original cantinas. And I would put money on it. that cantina dates back to the 15th century. Absolutely. Gas central heating, town water, two car parking spaces, walking distance into town. Just before I shot this video, I stopped, I had a sandwich, fantastic bar, fantastic sandwich, fantastic service. Called Tirna. 15 minutes away in the car. Arezzo, 25 minutes away. And from there, you can pick up a high-speed train, the Fetcherossa, that can take you to Milan. And I've taken that train in the morning and it leaves at, I think it was 6.20. I know it's early, but it's direct. And you get there in like two and a half hours. It's just phenomenal. There is a train station here and you can take the local train and you can get to Florence in approximately an hour and 20 minutes. What else do I want to say about it? Outside space, very nice garden area, not overlooked. Plan the application if you wanted to build a swimming pool, you've got direct access, so it won't be that difficult, really. I think this terrace here, this courtyard, it just, it's charming, absolutely charming. And the price. <laughs> The price of this charming property is, I'm gonna have to look myself. Okay, one second. Oh yes, it's gone up. <laughs> 790,000 euros. Did you get it right? I hope so. 
I would like to give a big thank you to one, the owner for giving me the opportunity to come here and two, to Asia at Rolling Hills. Asia, you're a lovely person. Thank you so much. And Rolling Hills, I like working with you guys. Thank you. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours for all of you who have subscribed to this channel. Thank you. I know I say it every week and I mean it. If you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push, push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Ciao.